I think we're live. I think we're live. I don't fucking know, bro. I don't fucking know, dude. Hold on. Are we live, baby? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. What's going on, Tyler? What up, Crooks? What up, Robert? What up, Creature? What up, Leslie? What up, Caden? What up, Senardo? What up, Tanner? What up, Eternal? We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Pardon my voice. I know it's a little scratchy. Listen. I say every time it's COVID, this time I fucking mean it. So gamers, tonight we're going to be having a chill stream, right? It's kind of late. I've been really busy doing a lot of shit, right? Like I just got home. I, I got to do a lot of work. I haven't done work in the past fucking week. So tonight we're having a chill little let's get drunk and chat about my trip kind of stream. Are you guys down for that? Like a little like story stream essentially is what this is. Jake with a 10 bomb. You're back. Love you, bro. I love you too, Jake. It's great to see you, dude. But hey. How is everyone doing, first off? Second off, how did you guys enjoy today's video? What up, Nixon? What up, Assassin? Meme Star with a 2-bomb. Why are they called... Dude, I just... I got asked that the other week and it tweaked me out, dude. Thank you so much for that 2-bomb, bro. But my gamers, I just feel like there's so much to discuss about this trip. So much that was never expected, right? Let's Why did that not show up? Why did, doing, Gobby, Why did that not show up? Mr. Gobby, what's on the agenda? Why did that not show up? Bento with a two bomb. Let's fucking go. How we doing, Mr. Gobby? What's on the agenda, my man? Yeg bombs are on the agenda, dude. Yeg bombs are 100% on the agenda today. Chase with a two bomb. Chase, it's great to see you again. Thank you so much for that donut, my friend. I appreciate it. Hey, everybody. Let's take Yeg and talk about this trip, dude. Let's just not fuck around. Let's not waste any time, right? Let's talk about this fucking trip. In particular, there's one outing of this this trip that I want to talk about, right? There's a, there's a lot of different things we're going to talk about during this stream. But there's one thing that I want to give you guys a little glimpse into that I tweeted about the other day. This is going to be in an upcoming Acid Trip episode, right? But I want to talk about my dispensary experience while I was tripping balls. Because I, looking back on it, I have no idea how I made it in and out of this dispensary, ladies and gentlemen with a product in my hand, right? Like, I was so, I was tripping so hard that I had to go get cash because I was like, bro, if I have to put my card into a machine, I'm just not going to know what to do. Like, I, I went and got the cash beforehand because I was like, dude, like, the, the, like, I just can't function a card machine right now. You know what I'm saying? By the way, let's take this Yeager. You guys ready to rumble or what, my gamers? Are you guys ready to rumble or what, baby? How many tabs did you take? I ended up taking three throughout the duration of the trip. Uh, but I didn't dose three all initially. I, I started off, like I said, with that quarter tab as like a messed up micro dose. Then I popped another half and then it just escalated from there. But I had a wonderful fucking time, right? I had a wonderful time. Like, I here's the thing. In my opinion, by the way, hey, let's take the egg. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, everyone. This one, I, I missed you guys, man. I hope you guys missed me. I missed you guys, man. I missed sitting down at my desk and talking about dumb shit, right? I was very looking forward to get home, dude. Not very looking forward. What? I was really looking forward to get home, dude. And, dude, I... Listen, man. It... Here's the thing. Here's my piece of advice. For everyone out there who hasn't taken Sykes yet, there's probably a lot of you guys who are looking at my, my acid content with curiosity. This trip I didn't plan in advance whatsoever. This was like a spontaneous fuck it, let's trip moment. And that's how every trip should be in my opinion. You shouldn't ever think too hard about tripping balls, dude. If you want to trip, if you just want to see the steel and start growing arms and shit, just make it fucking happen if you get that gullet feeling. Cheers, everybody. Oh my god, I haven't been drunk in so long. Okay, we have, we have a ton of donos to read. Hold on, and then we're going to get into this topic, guys. But, yo, thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. What's your I missed you guys, my gamers. Let's Eleven. let's get into it. So, Toxic with a 2 bomb. What's good, Gabby? We missed you. Twitter gang. What up, Toxic? How you doing, bro? Thank you so much for that donation, dude. I appreciate you. I'm, I have to get used to keeping up with donos and chat again. I haven't streamed in a week, bro. Week, like, I, I feel so rusty with rusty. this, guys. I feel so rusty with this shit. Where have you been? I took a road trip up north for court, and I just decided to make a vacation out of it. Because I was like, you know, with COVID going on, it's not like I'm going to get a vacation. So you know what? I'm just gonna go link up with my old homies, not work for a week, and just live. And honestly, if I had brought my laptop up and focused on working, I don't think I ever would have tripped. So I'm really grateful that I took this week to just chill. 
I'm really grateful that I took this week to just chill out, man, because it produced so much content. Mind you, this entire acid trip video took place in the span of one day. This is like a three-part video that's coming out of one day worth of content, out of the seven that I was up there, right? But either way, let me continue reading these donuts. Savage Monkey with a three-bomb. What's good, broski? What up, bro? How you living, man? I'm pretty baked with a two-bomb. 60 milligrams of hydros is amazing, but opioids suck. That's damn right. Ooh. Damn, I haven't drank in so long. I'm like burping off the first yay. Let's take another in a minute, dude. Because I see that 15 bomb. I'm going to get to that, Alex. Let me read these other ones, though. Chris with a three bomb. Gobby, it's my birthday. Let's catch him. Yo! Everyone say happy birthday to Chris. What the hell? Happy birthday, Chris. How old you turn, bro? Happy birthday. Hey, everyone. 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 Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chris Shields. Happy birthday to you. Hey! Hey, it's Chris's birthday, so that's an excuse for me to get drunk. Let's fucking do it, dude. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah, throw in the cha-cha-chas, everybody. Throw in the cha-cha-chas, baby. You know you had a, dude, listen, you know you had a fucking old school, old people ass, Karen ass, Caucasian family if they were throwing in the cha-cha-chas, bro. That's all I'm saying. My my aunt, my aunt who had like the actual Karen cut where it was like actually just like the, almost a man's haircut would always throw in the cha-cha-cha, bro. That's where you learn that from, dude. You. <laughs> hey. Hey, happy birthday, Chris. Let's read these. Alex, what a 15 bomb. What's your favorite song off of Eternal Take? Mine's Celebration Station. Ooh, I like Bust Me the most. Bust Me goes hard. I think that's a really underrated track on that album. But yo, Alex, that 15 bomb, you're legendary, dude. This one's for you, bro. Celebration Station is fire, but I think it's like a Molly song. Like, I think that song is specifically made to be on the radio for, like, really fucked up, like, white chicks coming home from the bar who drank, like, three White Claws or for people on Molly. That's who I feel like that song was made for. I, like, it's one of those songs that's only in my playlist. Only I only put it on when I'm fucked. I only put it on when I'm sent, when I'm so stupid, right? I only put it on when I'm wiling off my rocker, dude. But I love that track, dude. Alex, thank you so much for that 15, dude. Thank you so much. Aiden with a 5 bomb. Looking forward to the stream. I'm baked off some live... Yo, cheers, dude. So let's talk, my gamers. Are you guys ready to hear about... By the way, I see all those donations. I'm going to get to those in a minute, man. I just want to chat for a minute. So, are you guys ready to hear about this little dispensary experience I had while I was tripping balls? Because, oh God, was it out of pocket. So, I booked an appointment at the dispensary for 10.45 a.m., right? And I had been up all night tripping balls. And mind you, through this trip, there was about... There was a period through this trip. We're going to get to it in the next episode. But during this trip, I watched Scarface twice back to back and just went absolutely Tony with it, right? Just did a bunch of fucking blow. So I was up all night. And by the way, a lot of you guys may be curious. Do you guys want me to talk about the combo of acid and coke? Because there really isn't much synergy. I was more so just doing it because tripping me was telling me to do it, right? Like, like, uh, like Acid and Co. I was debating on doing, like, a combo review, but there's not much interaction, right? A lot of you guys might be thinking it makes you, like, trip way harder or something. There's really not, right? Like, you more so, I more so was doing it while I was tripping. Uh, because, like, I, like, watching Scarface, just the, the tripping me just made me do it, right? Like, it just, like, it just made me do it. But it didn't really make me trip any harder, Right? It didn't really make me trip any harder because here's the thing, the acid already has you wired, just wide awake. So it's not you don't you don't feel a major difference until you do a lot, right? But that's also kind of dangerous because I feel like since you're not uh like you have to know your limits without actually physically feeling it. Like you have to kind of mentally know your limits for it to be safe. So for everyone out there, I wouldn't recommend doing coke on acid. It's a big waste. But I was doing it because I was watching Scarface, and in my head, I just kept playing out this, like, oh, dude, facing the mound of coke on the couch kind of thing, you know? So I was like, fuck yes, I watched the movie twice, back to back, right? So either way, I had been up all night doing that, and the time comes around to go to this dispensary, and I had just booked an, uh, an appointment because I wanted to buy one-eighth of Mag Land Race, right? I, I wanted to try some out. I wanted some new weed at this point. I still hadn't re-upped yet, so I was running a little low on the stuff I brought up. So I was like, you know what? Let's go hit this dispensary. So when I get to this dispensary, when I get driven to this dispensary, right, I get out of my car, and listen, 
I, I stopped at the ATM on the way there because I had to get cash out because I was like, like I said earlier, right? There's no way I'm going to figure out how to operate it like a card machine. Like, if I have to put my card in and type things in, there's no way that's going down. And I was right about that because when I got out of my car and I walked up to the door of this dispensary, right? I was tripping so hard. And it was the first time I'd gotten, like, outside in fresh air for a long time during this trip. So I was just standing in the parking lot just like... Ah, you know, just appreciating that morning air. And here's the thing. If you if you stay up late at night and you stay up all night tripping, there is nothing that hits better than going out in that fresh morning air while you're tripping balls and just being like, damn, you know? Like, if you guys ever done that? You spent the whole night tripping? And it, it's like you just beat, like, a zombie's round. Like, the sun's coming up and now you got to rebuild your fortifications and shit, you know? You'll walk outside and you're just like, oh, I made it through the evening, you know? Like, no matter what, I feel like if you're having a bad trip throughout the night, when morning comes around, you can just go outside and you're fine, dude. You can just go outside and you're fine. Let me read these donuts. I'm really backed up. Mr. Peanut Butter with a two-bomb. Why is life so boring and mundane? You go. Uh, probably because you did too much Molly or Coke. When Honestly, you were out, I discovered one of the two. that a bunch uh, of Dark Twitter. Hype with a five-bomb. Only Goblin could have said this. Hey, Reddit, no Dark Hype. Like I love Cheers. you, dude. I love you, dude. You're an absolute prodigy. Thank you so much, dude. Let me continue reading these donations, bro. Uh, Colton with a three bomb. Cheers, Goblin. Cheers, Colton. I love you. James with a two bomb. Miss you, Goblin. I miss you too, bro. You see, Thank you. I'm going to read these donors real quick so we can continue. Savage Monkey with a three bomb. So Come I get this work in 2K, bro. You'd fuck me in 2K. You I'd be raging at career, career, dude. I'd be raging at the My Career child. bots, bro. They That's made me child. uninstall last time. Dude, I was playing a game against the AI fucking like bucks or whatever. Dude, I got fucked, bro. It made me delete the game, dude. I was sick of it, okay? So you probably would give me the work in 2K. I'm not going to deny that whatsoever. You'd fuck me up in 2K. But, hey, I appreciate you. Tito with a three-bob goblin. I'm about to trip on gel taps this weekend. How different are they from plotter taps? Here's the thing. Once it's down the gullet, it, you're not having, like, a different trip. You're still on the same substance. It's just typically I found gel tabs are dose stronger, typically, than your average paper tab. That's really the only difference. It's just, you shouldn't be expecting a different trip or anything. You just should take into account that, oh, this might be dose stronger than my average paper tab. Because typically gel tabs are a little higher uh, on the dosage end. Hey, we're almost at 1,500 viewers, dude. Let's get a poggers, ladies and gents. And let's take this Yeg as well and continue chatting, baby. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. I fucking missed you guys, dude. Old folk is the best. Dude, I looked for him. I was looking for him while I was up north, dude. I literally drove around searching for old folk, bro. We'll get to that in a bit. Let's take this Yeg and continue my dispo conversation, right? Cheers, my gamers. This needs a little more. Yeah, this could use a little more Red Bull. Let's get a little more Red Bull in there. All right. Cheers, everybody. Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy, baby. Oh, ooh Wash it down with a little ice cold, great value, purified drinking water, dude. Directly from the springs of... Directly from the springs of... Oh, it's... Oh, it's tap water. It's just reverse osmosis. Awesome. Oh. Directly from the sink of Walmart. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, uh, uh. That's how I love it. <laughs> Damn it. I really, dude, I, I feel like at least every water has some, like, ghetto spring. Like, the I'm spring so in, like, I don't know, Wellington, New up. York or some bullshit, you know? Like, they got a spring up in, like, Flint, Michigan that they're bottling from. But this, they don't even have that. It, it's just like, yeah, bro. It's reverse osmosis. <laughs> What was the fucking movie with the blue dude? Osmosis Jones! Fucking Osmosis Jones, bro. He's probably in this bottle. I just drank him. The movie's playing out in my gullet right now. This motherfucker Osmosis Jones just slid to the stream. That's sick. Welcome back, Mr. Jones. That's awesome, bro. Let's fucking go. Osmosis Jones in the cut, bro. Let's. Go. It's a pleasure to have him here. But either way, so... Cena with a nine bomb. I miss you, Gob. Yo, I miss you too. Thank you, dude. We're gonna read the rest of these donations in a minute. Two five with a five bomb. Yo, Gob, I miss your streams. All you're out to discover that a bunch of people in the lean, sub lean subreddit. No one like your videos. Cheers, dude. That's awesome. I always uh, listen. I get talked about here and there on Reddit. Sometimes positive, sometimes bad. But it's it's cool to see. It always piques my interest. Like, no lie, I'm probably gonna go on Reddit and name search myself. Now that you said that, right? Later tonight, right? Cause like I, it always, I'm always curious as to what people are saying, right? I never butt in. I just, I read. You know, I'm like the overseeing eye. I'm like, hmm, hmm. Oh, they hate me today. Oh. 
Let's go back to a different tab. <laughs> yeah, now. But either way. So, I get to this dispensary. And I, I walk up to this dispo, right? And I'm tripping balls. And this dispensary has this system where you don't place your order online. You only book your appointment online. And then you go into your appointment after you've booked it, right? And they give you these menus. And uh, I've been to this dispo before when I wasn't tripping. So I knew how it worked. I just wasn't ready for it when I was tripping. But they give you these menus in a piece of paper. Where you're then supposed to, like, mark down whatever you want, right? So, for example, like, if I, I wanted to eat the Mag Landry. So I, they had these boxes next to the names of the items. I was just supposed to write the number one in the box. Well, of course, I don't compute this. I see this and I'm just like, like I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, I want that, dude. So I just start, I fill in the whole box. I literally take my pencil and color the whole box in. I feel like it's an, like it's a standardized test. Like I'm taking the ACT, bro. I fill the whole box in. And I'm not talking just a little bit. I'm talking like, bro, I fucking, ugh, like I really made sure that shit was filled. I wanted to make sure that they knew I want the mag land race, right? That's what I want. So I scribbled the whole thing in. And I also wanted to pre-roll because I was like, you know what? In case, like, what if I fuck up the blunt and I get mad, you know? Like, what if I fuck up the blunt because I'm tripping balls? I haven't rolled while tripping in ages. And, you know, it would be nice to have a backup just in case. So I bought a pre-roll, too. So once again, I, j I just fill that shit in like I'm taking the ACT, bro. I'm just fucking... Uh, uh. So I'm standing in the lobby, and this guy, like... I didn't realize that, like, I was making a scene while doing this. Because initially, right, I'm standing there, and I have the paper in my in my hand here. And I'm trying to scribble, but I'm pushing so hard with the pencil that I ripped the paper. So I kneel down. So, like, there's no table or anywhere to sit. So I kneel down so I can, like, like I don't know, I don't know why. I could have just did it on the wall. But I kneel down and then put it on the wall. And then I'm, like, trying really hard to scribble without ripping it. And this guy's looking at me like a fucking crackhead, dude. And I just, like, I, I, like, turn around. He's like, you can come with me, sir. And I realize, like, there's, like, a line of people behind me just looking at me funny. And I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. So I'm like, whatever, bro. I got, like, I, I got the boxes filled in. They're going to know for sure. So I, I get through this lobby area. And I go into the second room. And the guy, like, he kind of looks at my menu and just doesn't say anything. He's just like, go stand over there, man. They'll take care of you. I don't know if I stood in the right fucking place or not, but I went to the direction he pointed, and then someone waved me over. And at this point, like, this guy was waving me over for I don't know how long, because I wasn't acknowledging him. Like, eventually I had to be like, hey, man, because, like, he, like, I think he was trying to wave me over, and I was just staring at everything else. Like, I was looking around, and they had so much shit on the walls and, like, pictures of weed. And I'm just looking around, and I'm just like, wow, dude, this is great decor, you know? Like, I'm just looking around, like... This is sick decor. So finally, the cashier guy calls me up and he's like, hey, it's so like, you know, how can I help you? Let me see your menu. So I slap my fucking menu on the table and I don't say shit. I don't know why, but when I walked up to this guy, it's like I just I just couldn't speak anymore. Like I was at like a lost for words. I felt like I had so much to say and nothing could come out. I felt like I, I had so much on my mind. I wanted to tell this cashier and talk about the weed. And I just, it, it wouldn't come out. So I hand this guy the paper and he looks and he just kind of like pauses for a minute. And he looks at the paper and he's like, wait, so like you want four Magland race? And I don't know where he got four from. I think the guy was like trying to get me to buy a little more. I don't fucking know, dude. But I, I was, I was conscious enough to know that I didn't want four. So I was like, no, 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 no. Just one, dude. Just one. I was just holding up fingers. I was like, one, one. <laughs> One, dude, just one of them. He was like, one? I was Here's like, yes, 100%. And then he's like, oh, you want one of the pre-rolls too? I'm like, yes, one, one, dude. I'm just holding up the fucking the one, dude. I can't write it. I can't say it. So I'm just, mm, one, one, baby, right? So he's like, like this guy, right? He, he starts to try to strike up a conversation. This is my worst nightmare, right? Most of the time, right, at the dispensary, like at least down by me, they'll strike up a combo, but it's because I know them, right? This guy was striking out, like, this was the one time where I was like, can the, can the dispensary please not treat me right? Like, can the dispensary be rude to me and just, can this guy not talk to me? And of course, this motherfucker's chatting, this motherfucker's talking, he, he looks back at me, like, he turns around, he tells someone to go grab my order, and then he's like, I'm, yo, I'm gonna get to all these donuts in just a minute, I see all of you guys, I love you guys so much, thank you all so much for the support, let me just finish talking about this, I don't lose my train of thought, right? So, this guy tells someone to go back to grab my order, and in the, in the meantime, right? He's like, uh, he's like, what's it called? 
He's like, oh, that Mac Landry's man. Like, I remember what he said because I remember processing it through my brain, but I couldn't churn out a response. He was like, oh, that Mac Landry's man. I wish people would stop buying it, you know, so I can get some. And I remember I was just sitting there and, like, I couldn't even laugh. Like, I, I don't know what it was. I just had the biggest tripping balls deer in headlights moment ever. Right? Where this guy's trying to make small talk with me and I'm just staring at him like this. I just remember, I just remember looking at him like this. I was like, I was just like, yeah, yeah, man. Right? And this mother, listen, dude, this shit was like, I was just glaring at this fucking guy tripping balls. And he's trying, he keeps trying to talk. Like, he kept repeating himself as if I didn't hear him. Like, he, like he said it the first time, and I was just like, yeah. And then he was like, what's it called? He, he, he just repeats himself again. He's like, man, that mag is just so fire, bro. Like, I want this shit. And I'm just sitting there, and I just, I can't speak. There is nothing that will come out of my mouth or gullet or brain that will make any sense, dude. So I'm just like, fuck it, dude. This guy better this guy better get my order in quick. So I'm just standing there, like, dead silent and nodding, right? I'm just smiling, and I'm just like, Yeah. For sure. I just kept saying yes. I was just like, yeah. Yes. And it got to the point where, like, after a while, he was just talking and I wasn't listening. So all I could say was yes. Like, it got to the point where I don't know what he was asking me or saying. I think he was just reading off my items. And I was still just going like, yep. Yes. Yes, sir. Yup. Right? Like, I... <laughs> so he's reading off... Like, I, I literally felt like I was lagging, dude. I felt like I was lagging, but at the time, I felt like I was so smooth. I felt like I was the king, because back in high school, I was very capable of handling myself while tripping, right? I was very capable of, you know, being able to go out in public and at least not seem like a complete idiot, right? Like, if you looked at my eyes, yes. But otherwise, like, you wouldn't be able to tell I was tripping hard, right? Part of the problem, I just had a burp from that yake. Part of the problem this time, right, was I had a mask on. So the only thing these people could look at was my bowling ball pupils. Like, everyone looked at me and just saw these giant fucking eight balls in my eyes, right? It's not like they could look at my mouth or my nose or any other part of my face. No. When you look at me, it's just eye contact. So everyone knew. Everyone had to know I was on something. Maybe maybe they didn't know that I was tripping, the people who didn't know what acid does. But everyone had to know I was on something. So either way, I'm checking out, and this guy rings me up, and I hand him the fucking cash, right? I just hand him this hundred bucks, right? I just hand him, like, I think it was a little more than that. It was, it was like, it was tax as fuck, dude. I didn't care. I was chipping balls. I was so desperate, dude. I was like, fuck it. So I hand him this money. He counts out my change and hands it back to me. And as he's handing the change back to me, he dropped some of it. I don't know if he dropped it or I dropped it, but there was a fumble at some point in the play, and some of the money ended up on the ground. Some of the change ended up on the ground. Yo, I see all these donations. I love you guys, bro. I'm going to read these in just a minute. I see that 20 super chat, by the way. I see you, my man. We're going to get to that in just a minute. Chulo Productions, I love you, bro. Thank you. Uh, but either way, let me just finish the story. Then we get, we're going to read a ton of donations and take a bunch of yags, right? What were you buying? An eighth of Mag Landrace, which is one of my favorite Indica strains, and then I bought a pre-roll, a one-gram pre-roll of a strain called Island Sweet Skunk. Just because I wanted a pre-roll, but he drops the money, and I look down to pick the money up, like, at first I don't process it, and then he says something about dropping it, and I look down, and the floor is, like, this little, like, like it's got, like, a pattern, like, there's, there's these little specks of, like, different colors on the floor, it's not just a smooth color, and I look down, and I'm just like, like, I'm just like, oh, fuck, it looked like the floor was alive, bro, like, kind of like I was talking about the ceiling in the hotel room in the last video, the floor looked the same way, so I look down, and I'm just twacked out, bro, like, I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like, oh, shit, dude. Like, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And I, I remember just standing there and staring at my money. And this was, this, was the, uh, this was the part where I knew I was making a scene. This other guy, the guy who walked me into the room, like, the guy who was looking at me like I was tripping balls in the first room, he lets another customer in, and he comes over and, like, helps me pick up my money. And I'm like, as soon as that happened, I just, like, realized, I was like, oh, my God, like... They all know. Like, they all have to know I'm so stupid fucking tripping sack. They've all got to know. So this guy helps me pick up my money and he hands it back to me. And after I get this money, I grab my bag off the counter and just skedaddle, bro. The guy probably said goodbye. I didn't stick around for that much, right? I fucking skedaddled. So I walk out this dispensary. 
and I'm once again back in the beautiful fresh morning air and I'm just like oh my fucking god like I needed this so bad like finally dude finally I needed this so fucking bad all I needed was this fresh air to get out of that dispo and I thought I was never coming back out let's take this yeg by the way and read a bunch of donations that I'm super backed up on dude uh, but I thought I was never coming back out bro it was fuck trip with a five bomb, yo, B Mich Michigan love. How was your trip, dude? It was lit. There's, I feel like there's so much that happened to talk about. Like, dude, even the drive back today was the most treacherous shit ever, right? So the bald in my, it, it had been fading for a while, and I needed to get it replaced, but I never bothered replacing it, right? But the bulb, my uh, my brake light, my back right brake light, the bulb finally gave out, right? So I I pulled over at this gas station. I realized, like, okay. Normally, that's not a big deal for people, but the thing is, cops will stop you for that, just to remind you of it, like, quote-unquote, remind you, when in reality, they're just trying to, you know, be dicks and be nosy, right? But normally, that's not a problem for people, but because I don't have a driver's license, that's a problem, right? So, I pull into this gas station, right? And I, like, I, 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 I had no idea what the fuck to do, right? Like, I had no idea what to do. I was kind of tweaking, right? So, I pop open, like, how you get to my... my back uh my back right brake light is through my trunk right so i pop my trunk pull back like the lining of my trunk and i like it it, it was really self-explanatory right like i just i like literally there's this little bolt you unscrew and just pull it out by hand not a single tool or anything was necessary right now i didn't even have to google right and luckily the bulb that is in my reverse light is the same bulb that is in my brake light so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to swap these because I'm never going to be reversing in front of a cop, you know? Like, if a cop's following me, I'm not just going to slap it in reverse, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to switch them out, right? I'm going to switch them out, and we're going cuckoo, you know what I'm saying? So I switch them out to my brake light, and then I'm cruising home. And normally, I, I take back roads. Like, I take only country roads specifically to avoid speed traps, right? And typically, it's worked. But today, for some reason... I just hit every speed trap in the fucking world, bro. Going on these back roads, right? Like, going on these backcountry roads. On the way up here, I literally saw zero, zero speed traps, baby. None. None zip nada. On the way back, on the way down, I saw four. Literally four separate fucking speed traps, dude. On the way back. When I've never seen one before. So, I'm... Listen, one of you guys must have tipped them off. Like, yo, Goblin's coming through today. You guys gotta keep an eye out for his fucking brake light, dude. I know it's broken, but luckily I thought I had and I fixed that brake light. Let's take Yeg Bombs and finish reading these donos, baby. We got plenty, plenty of donations and messages to read, baby. Hey, cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Michigan gang. Dude, I have a lot of family from Michigan, actually. When I was a kid, I used to go up to Michigan all the time uh, to visit family and stuff. Because that's where the majority of my mom's side of the family is from. Cheers, everybody. Let's go crazy. Ooh, ooh, got low key smart for switching the lights, dude. I had to do what I had to do, bro. I had to switch these fucking lights. Like, I just, I knew, like, there's no way I can drive home without this brake light. Because the other thing is, on on these back country roads I'm taking, right? They're literally one lane each direction. It's not like there's a bunch of houses you could just pull into like a side road, right? How, how many of you guys have road tripped off the highway through, like, rural Ill America? Like, specifically the Midwest, right? It's just bumfuck country roads for the whole thing until you get up north, right? But, like, the central Midwest, road tripping off the highway is, like, like, you just basically see no other cars, right? You basically see zero other vehicles on the road, right? So, if a cop gets behind you, there's nowhere to go. If a cop gets behind you, you're fucked, bro. You're absolutely Australia, UK. Dude, y'all motherfuckers are from Narnia and back, dude. That's all I'm saying. Y'all motherfuckers are from Narnia and back. Just turn down Delsim for the first time in two years. Dude, Delsim. Oh, just downed Delsim. I thought you said turned it down. I was about to say nice, but then you said just downed it, which is still nice, dude. That's cool. You take that 294 north? No, dude. I took a bunch of, like, back roads. Like, not, e not even 294. Like, I'm talking, like, country-ass, one lane each way roads. Like, I remember, dude... Here's the thing. You know, what, you know what one of my favorite games is when I'm driving through these country towns? I'll tell you guys. One of my favorite games when I'm driving through these little country towns 
is I because listen in in the Midwest you'd be surprised how like southern it feels in the rural parts right like it feels really old school classic southern like Confederate flags flying everywhere you drive through these towns where you're just like oh I know this town is racist right so my favorite thing to do is go on Wikipedia and look up the census results as I'm driving through the towns right because it's always interesting to me these towns in rural America the populations are like 99.5 percent Caucasian and then it's like 0.05% something else. It's like crazy. So I like to look it up because I'm always I'm like, can I find like what is objectively the most racist town in Illinois, right? And I was trying to find it. Like, can I find a town where literally like it's just a bunch of old fucking white people? That's got to be the most racist town in Illinois, right? So I'm cruising through and I'm going on Wikipedia and I found this town where the census it was only population like a hundred people, but the census and it, it it broke it up by age too. It was a hundred percent old white people a hundred percent ancient old like like 40s plus white people the whole population the whole census it was it was called like oh uh, god i don't remember the town name like bell bellflower or something bellfield i don't know bro it was something like that but i drove through that and i was like oh my god bro and it's it called me off guard because i drove through a town called farmer city and i was like dude a t place called farmer city this is the one right is the one but nah dude belleville or whatever bellflowerville field dude i don't fucking know bro they went cuckoo over there but either way let's continue reading these donations we are back the fuck up farmer city L dude farmer city was literally like a city name bro farmer city dude farmer fucking city who the who the fuck dude Belvedere, no, 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 no. I promise you, you don't know this town, Beamer Boy. I promise you, it's not Belvedere, bro. Like, it, this town literally has a population of 100 people. Like, I promise you, you've never heard of or been to this town. I never knew this place existed until I drove through it. It's not, it's not Belleville, guys. Like, you guys are thinking of towns, I promise you it's not, bro. I promise you, none of you have been to this town, bro. Like, it's literally a 100 population town. There's, like, six houses in the whole town right there's six houses in the whole fucking town bro but it was it was sketchy driving back to me anyway let's read these donos um i sent you a link to your instagram hey two fop thank you very much colin with a 10 bomb yo god what the fuck is good just watch the new video on fucking vacation right now getting drunk as fuck dude what are you getting drunk on my man i'm getting drunk on some good old jaeger baby some good old jaeger meister baby are we ready to smack this or what dude let me know everybody let me know my gamers could we get some love from Wichita, Kansas? I mean, I can't send you love from Wichita. I'm not in Wichita, bro. I don't fucking... I can't send love from there. You're the one who can give love from there. You know, you should be asking, can we get some love to Wichita, dude? I mean, so you're like, not, nah, bro. We need some from there. I'm not from Wichita, bro. I can't provide the Wichita love, dude. I have no capability of that. I have no capability of that. But either way, let's read more of these donos. We're like 10 minutes behind on these, dude. Uh, glad you made it back safe. God, Mr. Streams, you inspire me to create content as well. Much love. Yo, I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much for that three bomb, dude. Thank you for the safe wishes as well, my friend. I appreciate you. Red Dot, what a five bomb. Here's five dollars, funny drug guy. Oh, dude. I'm flattered. Let's take this yag in your honor, baby. Are we ready to rumble or what? We have so many donations I'm backed up on. What's your favorite future album, Goblin? Five dollars. DS2. 100%. I feel like that's everyone's answer. It's a generic answer, but it's a valid one. Like, it's just objectively his best piece of work. But thank you so much for that five bomb. Monster's also fire, but Monster's not an album that I listen to every track on, right? DS2 is just smacks. But either way, Joseph for the two bomb. Watch Bojack Horseman's about drug depression. I've, I've heard of that. I didn't really like it very Down much. Florida, but I have heard of that. But hey, hey, some let's smack Morgan this, dude. Let's smack this, dude. Cheers, everybody. Jack. Oh. Ooh, ECB with a five bomb. Are you the YouTube Al Capone, Mac Miller, Lil Wayne Food Network star, bro? Listen, dude. Is it called Belnet? No, no, it's 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 like Belleville or something. Like it's a town that like you probably honestly can't even find this shit on Google Maps unless you zoom the fuck in, bro. Like if you type it in, it's gonna show like any like it it was Bell something. Dude. Either way, like I guarantee none of you have been to this town. Maybe like one guy in the chat's driven through it, like I did. No one's ever been to this town. But either way. Let's continue here. Um, thank you very much, ECB. Michael with a two bomb for the dispo. If they ask, say it with shrooms. Dude, you think the dispo is going to call me and be like, yo, man, we saw you were kind of tripping balls in the dispo the other day. 
I just want to make sure that was shrooms, right? Not acid. Like, what? like, what? why would why would they do that, bro? <laughs> like, they they're reviewing the security footage. Like, wait a minute, this guy was tripping. Ring him up, like fucking. <laughs> oh man, Sam with seven bucks on bush and pineapple cushion. I don't, okay, yo, cheers, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you so much for that seven bomb, dude. I love you, bro. Elijah with a two bomb. Just stole six white claws from the Safeway. Hey, dude. Safeway's a lick, but like only if the cashier's like not present. When the cashier's in the bathroom, go crazy, dude. When the cashier's in the fucking bathroom, go mental. I remember back in high school, this one time I've told the story a few times, but there was one time where Ash and I pulled up to this mobile gas station and the guy like was in the bathroom or the back room or something. So Ashton goes behind the counter and just grabs like a carton of Newports, dude. And we were smoking six for free for like weeks, dude. It was phenomenal. If you walk into a gas station and the guy's in the bathroom, just go cuckoo, bro. He's not gonna fucking chase you, you know? He's not gonna fucking chase you, bro. Uh, he, he, you, you could get away with it, dude. You can get away with it. Colin with a two-bomb. Down in Florida, got some beer, some fireballs, some Captain Morgan vodka, and some good old Jack. Jesus Christ, dude. This guy's got a fucking cocktail going, bro. I always get caught at Safeway. Dude, listen, you have to do the sketchy, you have to do the sketchy gas stations, right? You have to do the gas stations that aren't, like, mainstream. Like, you have to do, like, like TJ's gas and liquor, you know, as opposed to like a, like a Safeway or like a, um, you know, one of the, one of those big, like a Circle K, like, but also gas stations don't really have asset protection, like, you actually can just grab shit just and walk out, it's just, are, are your nuts giant screen, enough, right, up. like, do you have big enough nuts to look the cashier right in the eyes and walk the fuck out without paying, if so, I mean, go crazy, dude. Good good friend took some fake school buses Bellman. and heroin Scott and OD. Oh, Other good friend was in a coma Eagle. for we can make it out. Bull. Hate Ellen's Sans of the Passion. Now, dude, trip. Sans suck, bro. Fuck Sans. Everyone say it with me. Fuck Xanax. We hate. My life. We hate. Right? Xanax. Fuck Xanax. Everyone say it with me, dude. Fuck Sans. We hate those, dude. We hate those. My dad locked up in Belleville. Hey, free your dad, Starverse. Free your dad. Fatwoods with 374. Just took two grams of some blue mini shrooms. Love the stream. Keep it up. Yo, Fatwoods. Thank you so much, bro. I really fucking appreciate you, dude. You're a prodigy, bro. Thank you so much, dude. Two fob. What a three bomb. Pelham, Scottville, Allenville, Eagerville. Elmayo. I'm fucking seeking 100 population cities in Illinois. What am I doing with my life? Dude, visit them all, bro. Visit them all. Promote them all, dude. Plug them on social media. Advocate for them, dude. Get, make these towns, you know, add a little diversity to these little 100 population towns. You make them 200 people. Go cuckoo, you know what I'm saying? Michael with a two bomb. No, got some people say Sid, it's synthetic crap. Hey, dude. It is what it is, dude. I, I don't control the people's opinion on it, though. Left for Dead with a five bomb. I'm drunk, Left for Dead. Bro, I'm chilling I'm too, bro. I'm chilling too. Let's take a fucking yeg, brother. Let's take a fucking yeg. Where's my other Red Bull? Hasn't even there we go. Ears to the next I don't know how y'all get addicted to them. I did them for like a week straight and just quit. I mean, that's not the case for everyone, though, bro. Not everyone's as, you know, able to just fucking do that, right? Everyone's just able to do that. Bro, I'm staying here for three days and all is necessary for having a good time and the party hasn't even started. Beers to the next Yeg Bomb. Got everything up in the sky right now. Yo, Colin, let's take this Yeg Bomb on your own. Are you guys ready for a Yeg or what? Let me know, gamers. Are you guys ready for a Yeg or what? I really appreciate you guys tuning in this late, especially and chilling out and spending your late evening with me, dude. It's been a whole week, bro. It's been a whole week. And also, my gamers, another exciting thing. Did, did, did any of you guys ever play the game Destroy All Humans? It was an old game I used to play on my PlayStation when I was a kid. Did you guys ever play that game? Destroy All Humans? They're remastering it. And I, I believe it comes out technically today now because it's past midnight. But tomorrow for those guys in Cali, right? They're remastering it and I think it comes out today. Which in that case, we're going to play it. If, it, if it's out today, we are going to play it on stream, right? A hundred percent. Let me check actually. Let me let me go peep on Steam real quick. I believe that comes out today. It's on it's on Xbox and PC. I think it's on all platforms, man. Because I went to Walmart today and they had it. Like they had like a they didn't have the case out, but they had like the slot for it. So I went and asked one of the employees. I was like, wait, there's a fucking destroy all humans on Xbox One. Like what? And I looked up, and I was like, oh, shit. Like, why has nobody told me they're remastering this, dude? I'm fucking buying it. Like, I love this game, so we have to play this shit. Yeah, it, it, it unlocks in 11 hours. So we are 100% playing this on tomorrow's stream, dude. We are 100% playing the Destroy All Humans remaster, dude. 
Those of you guys who maybe didn't grow up with this game, you know, maybe you guys are a little younger. This game was like, some of you guys, like, it's crazy to think, but there's probably a good chunk of you guys who grew up not even playing the PS2. You guys probably didn't even play the fucking PS2, dude. That's kind of cuckoo to me. But basically, it's a game you just play as an alien and go cuckoo, dude. It's fucking sick. But cheers, everybody. Let's smack this yay, dude. Ooh. Josh, thank you for that three bomb. I appreciate you, dude. You're a prodigy. Gary, with a two bomb. After COVID, come to Texas and party, dude. After COVID, COVID come needs to, to end already. Give party. me a fucking antidote, bro. Give me a fucking antidote. But hey, gamers, listen. We're doing a little short stream tonight. I want to knock out and make tomorrow's video. We're going to upload part two of the acid story back to back. So I want to do that tonight Yo, before I go to sleep, right? Because I'm exhausted spending all day in the car. I'm fucking exhausted. So we're probably going to knock out here, everybody. I need some fucking sleep. It's been a long ass day. I woke up at 7 a.m., hit the road, got home. Now we're here, baby. Hey, are y'all ready for part two or what, baby? Are y'all ready for part two or what, dude? We're hopping live tomorrow, playing Destroy All Humans, dropping part two. It's going crazy, dude. I'm exhausted. I need to fucking knock out. Let me read this donut real quick before I go. Pippo with a five bomb. Nick, you think you can pour one out for my homie Dan? Of course, bro. Let's take one for your homie Dan before I go to bed. Let's take one for your homie Dan real quick. We'll pour it a little fat. We'll pour it a little strong. Yeah, I really, really spiked that one for Dan. There we go. Got it nice and nice and intoxicating for your homie Dan, man. Hey, this one's for you, man. This one's for you, brother. Let's go, Cuckoo. Hey, I'll see you guys tomorrow, baby. Let's smack this real quick. Better drop that part two ASAP. Yeah, it's coming out today, dude. Well, tomorrow, if you're in Cali, today, if you're in Illinois or the East Coast, you know what I mean, bro. The 28th of July, part two's coming. Cheers, everybody. I last don't know, but it's cool. Here's $2. Let's get fucked up. Ooh. 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 Fuck, that one was strong. Oh. That one was for Dan. Oh, my God. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for tuning in. Oh, my fuck. Ooh. I gotta let that one sit. Hey, get tucked in, baby. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, baby. Y'all better be ready to rumble. Peace out, everybody. Get tucked in, baby. Hey, sleep good, hey. Shh. Good night, everybody. Sleep good, gamers. I'll see you guys tomorrow, baby. Hey, we're getting fucked up recording part two, dude.